Hi there, viewers and gamers alike out there. Welcome back for more of East 8, Lacrimosa of Donna. I'm your co-host of St. Austin Lawrence. Before we begin, get to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get straight into this. Let me think. First Camp Bar was attacked in Sir Carlin. Nothing about the wound seemed particularly suspicious to me. If anything, it's more noteworthy that the wounds themselves weren't life threatening. Oh, is that important somehow? Perhaps, though I don't want to overthink things either. The attack for warnings. Yes, I can't imagine why the Cobra wanted to try to kill him outright. So I suppose Sir Carlin did die later. And the car was toying with his victims first to fill him with fear. Perhaps he wanted to slowly chip away at their psyche before he strikes the truck again. The only I know about his weapon is how sharp it is. Bad there was some man a blade and implement. Well, put that in your neck, Doctor. Oh, this? Hey, don't worry. This is the remnants of a sunburn I received a while back. Mm -hmm. I end up here as actually staying in a country called Otago. So much of my time outdoors doing medical work in the sun. <coughs> Tell me more about Otago. Saying that he's always interested to hear stories about the Kingdom of Otago. Heh, <laughs> I might be saying stories about, about all I've seen here. But, should you focus on solving this case first? You got plenty of time to gab with Kierkegaard later. I don't know. That's right, be, you know, and please be careful as you pursue this killer. <laughs> something wrong? A lot more than something is wrong. They're calling it die where you were gone. Oh, sorry to hear that. I had to build us with Lent. And so I had to ask, they're calling got attacked. K did, did you? Where did this appear to and what were you doing? Sorry, I can't divulge that information. Does that mean? Hmm, I see. Do you know who did it? No. Why'd you ask me that? Would you really trust anything I said? Well, if you're swearing not to cope, I guess it's fine. But why just appear all of a sudden? Hmm, isn't it obvious? Because I was done working with you. Hmm? This guy you're trying to solve is your business. My business lies elsewhere. It has something to do with you. So why force unnecessary collaboration? Well, you got a point, I suppose. One gold. Goodbye. You're not been enough. 
How do you want a different face? But I don't got any more more fish, so Can I help you guys? <laughs> That's supposed to be having ideas. I I don't know. Hmm, well actually I've been wondering why Sir Karm was the first victim. Why him of all people? Well, it's probably because he was the easiest target. Is is that the only reason? This is very deliberate. Wherein, when he left his notes. Two goals with the so dread paranoia on us. I mean, that's why name it's rolling towards playing mind games with his victims. Yeah. But now I think of it, it might have been intentional too. Their calling already had a reputation of causing problems in the village. The mental trauma of believing that his life to be in danger only made those problems worse. Now that he's dead, the village morale has never been lower. In fact, there's a true motive behind Nameless's crime. Mm -hmm. Nameless is cunning, I'll give him that. Mm -hmm. Not to mention it. Oh, but they're nothing special. I was the newest member of the village, so it's easier for me to examine this subjectively. But what I'm saying, you seem like, like you're highly educated sword. <laughs> uh, I was a medical resident. Yes, the Tang physician of Boyle and Barney asked me to cover for him. And I imagine I would wind up in this situation. <laughs> Alright, what a disaster. Hi there, Captain. Seen your best games already on the way. Sorry, I always rely on you for everything. Ca uh, we don't mind. And then, upon all account, this problem affects the whole village. And that's Captain Barrow, so we never say anything else. Hmm, let me see, there was one thing. It said that something wasn't quite right. I have a right when I was attacked. I already told you I couldn't get a clear view of my attacker. That's because he was already few mil away from me. Mm, that's pretty far away for something to cut ya. Yes, it is. Happened so fast, I thought I was misremembering things. Try thinking outside the box, then. Hmm. Right now, it's a itchy attack when I'm nine. But that could have been something. But it could have been something else. I'm <laughs> the mystery is getting even bigger. Yeah, he's right. Got to kill old Darwin for you back home. And for now, family bring home so we take off at us. <laughs> yeah, I know how right you want. She's only two years old, but she's very strong for her age. Still. Hmm. One of my passengers has fallen victim to a madman. So as a matter of sound, I must fulfill my duty as captain. Please help me make this right. Are you guys talking, everyone? No, I thought I saw something walk outside the village. Alright, because they were told not to leave the villains. Where did he go? Thought 
I saw him heading downstream along the river. This way. <coughs> Are you sure? No. Huh. Wait. Stop. Don't move. Hold on. Oh. Over there, Adolf. Tom picked up a cinematic strand wire. Yeah, that's it. How did you notice this? <coughs> I may not look it, look like it, but I got eyes like a hawk. If I can't see fist and water, can't keep my family fed. Steel wire. Do you know what this is? Yeah, but what's this doing here? How about try to use my Roman guerrilla warfare units? <laughs> but what do you mean? To try to use a special type of steel wire and tree branches. Oh yeah, this is military grade steel wire. I'm sure of it. It's too down when the trap is stepped on, ripping the poor guy to shreds. You're lucky your pretty little head of yours didn't go all, all into the grass. So we are being lured into a trap. Yeah, that seems likely. But that means... Hmm. Good point. Get that make get us make me a suspect. Her father's name was why I reveal my methods to you. You're yeah, you're right. Either way, I don't like this. <clears throat> the poor can barber say my find what you like we agree. Tell me I'll clear my name so we can you nail know, nail that name was to the wall. Go at me, will ya? I'm quite certain that Orin's not the culprit either. I swear, I'm getting real sick and nameless. So, Psycho Man is fine to get some use. As I said, he has like to play mind games with his victim. So, as soon as the man is a very intelligent individual. Yes, that's true. Once I'm used to these traps, we surmise as connect as a connection to Rome military. We also need to know why this person is an outsider or member of the village. Well, anyone else here is part of Rome military. Odds be it is the work of an outsider. They liked you. How's your cut healing? Yeah, it's a testament with Professor. The ones I seen yesterday have been been healing well thanks to him. Wait, Matt, that's never something funny the doctor said. He said he'd been in some of his country recently. Well, what's country? Uh the one one animal finished of the teeth. What was that name again? Haltago. For those not to know, I'll talk about the saying of E7.
Wait, say that again? Is that a news war or something? Oh, Tongos, Tongos have war with the Roman Empire. You can't just come and go from there as you please. But, you know, I haven't, I haven't been able to set foot on Otago yet. Only so if you can fully, freely enter Otago. Do you have to be a government official or, or soldier in the Roman military? Huh? Are you sure about that? Yeah, I guess in that porn, and he's not a soldier either. He's just a doctor. Doctor in the military. Maybe he's a field medic. But maybe? Hmm. This is starting to make too much sense. And he's nowhere to be seen. It's like the doc's away. He is here. He was here earlier when we were down in information. It's not here to certainly make what I'm about to do easier. Down there, maybe. Bingo! <coughs> the, a steel wire. Exact same steel wire used in a trap to nearly decapitate you, Alexia. This evidence, I have no doubt he's the culprit behind this. Captain? Hmm, that's rather unfortunate. I don't have a hand out care guard before he claims our victim. Yes, sir! Sorry to make you do this. I'm coming with you. Oh, the doctor's probably still in the village somewhere. Please be careful. Oh. It seems we are gonna stop here for the time being, and don't you worry, we are gonna continue to pick up more and left off, and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. We'll see you guys next time.